With the monastery's restoration, Gordon and the community can look to the future. Last summer, a new work of art was unveiled in the grounds of the monastery. A sculpture dedicated to love and friendship in front of a building which welcomes everyone, regardless of faith or ethnic background. It's a work of art very personal to Osman Saka, marking the end of a quest to create a memorial for his son. I am from Kosovo. My religion is Muslim and I live here more than five years in Manchester. Mr. Saka just wandered into the office one evening and as we sat down and had a cup of tea, which we always do if anybody comes to the monastery, he told us the story. It was uh, 13 of April 99. Serbian forces came in my, in my village and uh, he's killed 15 people, seven people from my family and uh, my son, 17 years old. He's called Dealer. The way he described how his youngest son was killed was to me as a mother was just, just unimaginably sad. The Serbs came into Kosovo, they rounded up the young men of the village and among them his 24-year-old elder son and then the young one said leave my brother alone and he stepped forward and they said fine we leave him alone and they shot the young one. I dream my son told me please dad can you make one sculpture for Mother Teresa and to call that a symbol, symbol of peace. Now you have to know that Mother Teresa comes from Albania and Kosovar people are ethnic Albanians. And she is respected by the Muslim community. And to me that Osman wanted to remember his dead son by somebody who is a symbol of giving and tolerance and a symbol of love. I thought it is just so wonderful that we must get involved and the monastery must help him. Andrew Scantlebury was commissioned to design the sculpture which involved taking a cast of Mrs. Sarkar's hands. I think that this sculpture for me is to remember my son here and to pray for peace in a war. Instead of just giving in to pain, he went out, he started to work on trying to give something to other people, to his new country, to his new community, which is some kind of a beacon of how to be, of how do we have to live our lives. He said, what is important in this life is love. 